In the Factor follow-up segment tonight, a look ahead to 2016. Hillary Clinton, who was Secretary of State when the Benghazi attack happened, is expected to run in the next presidential election. The New York Times Benghazi story provides good cover for her if she decides to go down that road. But not all Democrats agree that she is a shoe in for the nomination. I think John Kerry is the big political surprise. Uh, and by that I mean, I'm, you know, maybe he makes another run. Really? I, well, uh, this is just me. <laughs> uh, but I think he's got the credentials. He's run before. He's been a superb Secretary of State. With me now to react is Fox News <laughs> contributor Mary Catherine Hamm. Let's stop the laughing, Mary Catherine. Right, yeah, and Democratic yeah. strategist Richard Goodstein, who advised Hillary Clinton's 2008 campaign. And we're going to announce now is already going to be her chief of staff. You got it. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to uh, spill the beans. Okay, I got to start. I got to start with you, Richard, on this John Kerry uh, comment from Richardson. Uh, that kind of surprised me. I, I don't. I didn't see that necessarily coming. Is that realistic? I'm thinking that Richardson has either been consuming a little bit too much eggnog or they spiked the OJ in the, ah. in the uh, green room at uh, Meet the Press. Look, and, and as you remember, the Clintons thought he was going to be in their camp in 08. He endorsed Obama. Richardson. Uh, yeah. Richardson. So, so um, I think that maybe there's um, some score settling going on. Uh, this makes no sense to me uh, it, for, for a variety of reasons. First, John Kerry was the first Democrat since 1988 not to win a plurality of the votes. 2004. Um, since George Bush. I'm saying so he was yeah. the first one. And uh, Democrats certainly remember that. Um, we all know how Democrats think about George W. Bush and the fact that Kerry lost to him is not certainly a, a how about strength the for him. Windsurfing photo. Let's uh, just go back uh, to that. Uh, Didn't that just end it? And, and the know? fact is, for for as much as he has compiled, you know, you can dispute whether his record is good, bad, or indifferent. Whatever he's done has been uh, kind of frankly, he's used as Hillary's efforts with the Russians and so forth in Libya and Syria yeah. and so forth as a springboard. I would say, uh, Mary Catherine, his record as Secretary of State has been far superior to Hillary's. I think you could make right. the opposite argument that he's actually tried to play cleanup to yes. the administration's mistakes, namely uh, Mrs. Clinton, maybe even Barack Obama. Could make that argument. I think it will make no difference electorally. Uh, I think Darn. the big winner, if he ran, would be Laura Ingram, who would have a blast with oh, that. Oh, yeah, come on. Uh, I still remember my 2004 <laughs> exactly. radio show. Those were fun. But I also think that uh, we should always stipulate that Hillary Clinton was inevitable in 2008. So I always want to put that out there when we're talking about early polling of her, uh, because lots of things can happen. John Kerry, I don't think, is one of the things that's going to happen. Uh, and I think maybe Bill Richardson is saying, hey, if Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden are one, two in polling right now, maybe uh, John Kerry and Bill Richardson can be three and four in this scintillating, youthful group we've got. I don't want to rehash here. the New York Times thing too much, but does that give her a little bit of cover from the heat from Benghazi, Richard? I mean, people still feel good about Benghazi, what happened that night, and there seemed to be some uh, lingering uh, sense that there were major screw-ups over at the State Department. Forget the CIA, but right. at the State Department with security, a lot of red flags. People didn't, didn't do what they should have. Uh, is this New York Times thing give her a blanket cover? Sir, look, it helps. There there is nobody, I suspect not a single voter in the Democratic primary process who attaches significance yeah. to Benghazi and thinks that what, Hillary was under oath before Rand Paul and people who really wanted to stick it to her, and we all know what came of that. And we know that, that Bill Gates, or Bob Gates, the former Secretary of Defense, said the notion of kind of a relief was cartoonish. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't really think that Benghazi, yeah, the New York story, the New York Times story what, helps, but yeah. that's What all. Democrat's going to hit her over Benghazi in the primaries, Mary right. Catherine, well, right? That's who? the question. If she'd if she even had a challenger from the left, that's not the tack they would take with her in the general election. Might that give her some cover if she gets there? And I think it remains to be seen whether that hits with voters in a general election, because if you look at the Gallup most admired poll from this year, she's still up at the top. I love the most admired poll. Gallup, yeah. Obama is up at the top, name and Hillary you can Clinton. Name. I think but I've got to say, Obama's at 15 percent, and then everyone else is pretty much at like 3 and 1 percent. You know, right. Bill Gates is at 1 percent. Uh, Mitt, Mitt Romney's at 1 percent. Right. Mitt Romney with Bill Gates, that's actually pretty good for yeah. Mitt Romney. I'm to wow. give Hillary credit, so 18 times she's been at the top, yeah. 12 in a row. That's a pretty good streak. I think that people just yeah. don't know who to name like at this point. They're like, who, you who do we name. know? Yeah. I mean, who, who else are we going to say? I mean, Billy Graham still makes the list, but not that I would want to give her. I want to do a moratorium <laughs> on all of these lists. Okay, the year-end list segment is getting really tired. It's like the shopping at Thanksgiving story. Yeah. They should just run the same story every year. The DNC. Uh, email warning yes. about a possible impeachment of Barack Obama, raising money, you know, stoking the fears. 
I mean, this is really a little bit over the top, don't you think? Is that really a fear of yours? You wake up in the middle of the night, cold sweat, good steam, cold sweat. Oh my God, they're going to impeach our president. So, really? So what I think about is why do people even utter the word impeachment? I think those are people it who suffer good. from Obama derangement syndrome. And, and here's the problem for Republicans. By putting that out there, the notion of impeachment, one of two Who's things is going to happen. Well, certainly all these Republicans um, in the House who have talked about it rather openly and proudly. And, and one of two things is going to happen, either in the Republican presidential debates in 16. If you poo poo it, yeah. you're a rhino. If you embrace it, then anybody close so. to the mainstream kind of dismisses you. So I, I, don't, I, don't I, I think there's a way to do away with it is to have people stop talking what, about it. What do you think? Here's my thought. What are they going to campaign on? Obama that, here on that fundraiser? <laughs> in, order, in order to be really scared of this from the Democratic side of the idea of impeachment, Republicans still have to hit the level that Democrats hit during the Bush years, which is holding fake impeachment trials in the basement of a congressional building, which, as you remember, they yeah. did in a famous Dana Milbank column that we. <laughs> <laughs> ridicule oh, right. to this day. So once we hit that point, then we can start worrying okay, about the other. Okay, 10 seconds each. Chris Christie kills everybody in this poll, uh, yeah. front runner for the for the GOP. People want a realistic winner, someone who could take out right. prob probably Hillary Clinton. You see, see that changing anytime Yeah, I think, it showed, so? I think it showed two things. One, that the Christie was not burnt and, or toast as soon as he uh, hugged Obama or had yeah. him in New Jersey, which a lot of conservatives wish he were, but that, that's not the case yet. And two, that maybe uh, the Rubio work on the com comprehensive immigration hurt him more than Christie's uh, embrace. Christie, you worried it's about Christie? Giuliani. I mean, honestly, at this point in 2005, yeah. exact, we, we saw the exact same polls. People had the exact same dreams. He could win. You know, he's middle on the, all these different issues, and we saw what happened mm. when you get into that crucible. But he also didn't compete. I mean, yeah. Giuliani made the tactical decision Florida of only strategy. competing Remember in Florida. Remember the Florida right. strategy? So I think this could play but out also, differently. It also is Christie going to plunge into Christie's, Iowa or not? I'm betting not. Christie's more conservative than, uh, I would say, Giuliani on a whole host of issues. But great to see you. Happy New Year, both Thank of you. you. you too. And on deck, an Obamacare warning that all conservatives need to hear. And then the Duck Dynasty controversy growing as one far left bomb thrower calls the show part of the white supremacist culture. Nice. Those stories up ahead.